Hey guys, Deborah with Pinching Pesos here, and I have last week's They Paid What sales update video. First of all, I want to talk about my spoof video that I did day before yesterday. For I did a spoof video for the reseller wake up, and I called it the reseller hangover, and it was only about 33 seconds long. And apparently, some of you guys thought it was real. Uh, I didn't realize that I had such impeccable acting ability. Maybe I'm just wasting my time doing all this eBay, Amazon stuff. But anyway, no, it was a joke. I, I didn't realize that um, my regular subscribers aren't familiar with what the reseller wake up is, but it's a morning show that I do with uh, Paul Gummerson, who's Resell Ronan. He hosts the show. Um, as well as several other experienced resellers that come on the show two to three times a week. And we do it uh, normally Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Sometimes, you know, it's just Monday. Sometimes it's Wednesdays. Uh, but it's been going on for the past year. And so I forget that uh, that you guys aren't always up to date on everything that I do. But I've been doing that show for the past year. And I had posted a comment uh, when Paul canceled the show on Wednesday that I was going to premiere my own show the next day. Uh, which is what I did with the spoof video called The Reseller Hangover. Um, but it was a joke. It was 8 o'clock in the morning. And if you really think at 8 o'clock in the morning, I'm either A, drunk or still drunk from the night before, or that I would even put out an actual real video like that, I really don't know what to say about your judgment. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get into this week's sales because they were actually pretty good. So, uh, and then next week's sales are going to be even better because I already know because they were this week. Uh, my next week's video, uh, I had some really great stuff that sold this week and I'm really excited about it. So next week's uh, video should be pretty good. So anyway, let's just get going. Uh, total sales for the week on eBay was $370. It was $272 before shipping. Uh, Amazon was at $418 for the week. So not bad. We're looking at almost 800 bucks for the week. So, uh, here's the first item that sold on eBay last week. And it was actually one that I mentioned last week. It was the same buyer, but he had bought two on Saturday and two on Sunday. So these count for last week. Um, I paid $2 for these support hose. I bought 12 pairs of them and they sold, he bought two pairs for $12 each plus shipping, so $24 plus shipping, $31.08, and I paid four bucks, so not a bad score. Next up was this uh, automatic pet food feeder. I always grab these if I see them. They generally sell fairly quickly, um, and as did this one, as soon as I sold it, I think it sold within, I mean, as soon as I listed it, it sold within a couple of days. I went for thirty-five ninety-five because I was running a sale. Uh, it was a 10% off sale, something like that, plus shipping. So he paid $48 for it. I paid, I think it was six ninety-nine. dollars uh, Move myself out of the way so I can see. I paid, yep, six ninety nine for it. So, uh, okay. What is happening here? Where's my page? These are cassettes that I actually recalled from Amazon because they were there. They'd been sitting there, they didn't sell, and they were going to get long-term storage fees. And so I was like, well, I'm just going to call them back. So I called them back and I ended up listing them on eBay and they both sold within the same week. I had two packs of them. I had paid $4.99 each for them. I sold them for $24.95, free shipping. They went in a regional A box. So not bad for something that wouldn't sell on eBay. I mean, on Amazon. I don't know what was going on with them and why they wouldn't sell, but... They were just sitting there looking sad, so let's see. I had this Snoopy, and my computer just froze. I'm having problems with it. I've had this Snoopy. I don't know if you can still hear me or not, so I'm just going to wait. 
Do, 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 do. Okay, I've had this Snoopy uh, bottle bag for two years or more, and I didn't ever list it. Uh, I just went ahead and listed it last week, and it sold pretty much right away. I had paid a dollar ninety nine for it a really long time ago. I don't even remember where I got it. It was it was a long time ago, uh, but it went for nineteen ninety five plus shipping. These I've also had for a really long time. Um, they're refills for this special kind of diaper holder. It's not the Diaper Genie. It's a special one. And um, they went for $9.95. I had paid $1.99 for them. I think I forgot to press enter. These are more tights. I told you it's tights season. Uh, I paid $0.99 cents and it was actually less than that. I think it was um, 79 cents that I paid for them, something along those lines. But uh, they sold for $9.95 plus shipping. Okay, I did a post in my group about these castles because I had had them listed forever and then all of a sudden I sold in the same week, I sold three sets of them at the time that I did the post and actually I sold all four sets within the same seven day time period. I don't know what was going on. I did some research. They all went international. They all went to different countries and I couldn't quite figure out what was happening. Like, was there something pop culture that was going on? Was there something going on with, you know, Princess Kate? Was there, uh, did the castles look like Star Wars? I, I couldn't figure it out what it was, but they all sold, and they all sold international um, in the last week. Don't know why. Couldn't figure it out. But they went for $4.95 plus shipping. Each customer was paying about, I believe, $10 for shipping. Uh, some paid $6.99. Some paid $10. This one paid $10. Yeah. So, I don't know what was happening in Monopoly, Disney, Princess Castles. But I paid $2.99 for the game. All the castles sold. I sold a uh, Pat Pat Rocket. He, uh... I paid 99 cents for him. He has a little voice box that says like up, up and away or something like that. Um, he's just a little plush pillow, but he went for $29.95 plus shipping. So that was a really great score. I always, even though I don't sell plush like I used to, that, that was what I started out selling. I was like the plush queen. Uh, I still, I have to use that knowledge that I built up over all of that time that all I sold was plush, so I always go look at the plush, and I found this guy. So if you see Pat Pat, go ahead and pick him up. And there's more castles. Uh, this came from a set that I had bought. This is actually a Preethi is a grinder. I don't, damn, my computer sucks. It keeps freezing up. Uh, this is a grinder for like curry, uh, curry sauces and, and things like that. It'll also make soy milk. Uh, this was like an accessories pack that I bought and it had all these different blades and belts and, uh, removers and stuff in there, uh, a pitcher, lids, but it didn't have the actual unit. And so I paid, it was $9.95 and then it was half off. So it was like $5 and I've sold these different pieces. I think I've sold three or four so far, but they all went international. They either went to Canada or to Europe, because um, this is just not a brand that we use here in the U.S. And, or are familiar with, but it's very popular, like in India and like uh, Eastern Europe. So, uh, nine ninety five. I, I think I put it in my spreadsheet as like a dollar. I think is what I paid for it, but. Uh, it wasn't even that much. It was probably 50 cents. Just sitting here waiting. 
Uh, these I had bought for uh, Amazon. I didn't realize when I bought them that they were expired. So I couldn't sell them. There wasn't even a listing on Amazon for them because this was the special edition that had the little foot roller that came with it. So I ended up selling two packs for $9.95. It wasn't really a profit. Um, it was really just to kind of make back my money that I had spent on something that I shouldn't have bought. Uh, I sold another selfie booth and I have them listed for $29.95 free shipping. Uh, luckily the people that I've been sending them to have been in like neighboring states. So it hasn't cost me that much. The one that I sold last week, like week before last to England actually was returned. Well, I didn't let her return it, but she complained about it. She said that the picture made the item look better than what the item actually was. But this is a stock photo. This is what the manufacturer put out for this item. So it's not like I took it and then made it look fancy. This is what Target, Walmart, Amazon, Toys R Us, this is what they sell this item with. This is the photo for this item. So I think she just wasn't happy that she paid $70 for a $30 item because she had to pay $40 in shipping. Um, I went ahead and refunded her money. I did get the defect removed because it wasn't anything that I could do anything about. But so the defect was not legitimate, but the return was because I offer a return policy and it was within that time frame. So I just refunded her money and went on about my day. And, and I did get the defect removed today. So, but anyway, this one sold for $29. And they didn't want to return it. And I've sold other ones as well, which they didn't complain about. Uh, I bought these skates for $9.95. I sold them for $35 plus shipping. And they actually went within the state. So I made money on the shipping because they only cost me like, I think it was like $7 to ship or something. It was really cheap because it was within Texas. Um, but they paid full price uh, because they don't get my discount. And there's the last set of those little castles. So if you have these castles, go ahead and list them. Make sure you list them internationally. They only cost like $5, 5 or $6 to ship because they're like less than two ounces. Once they're packaged up and everything, they're like an ounce point eight or something is what they are to ship. So it's like less than five, like less than $6 it costs you to ship them. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on in Disneyland, but whatever. Okay, so those were eBay sales. My total profit for the week came out to $181.63 after all fees and costs and everything. Um, Amazon is not over there. Amazon is over here. Was at $418 with 18 items that sold... Looks like it was uh, puzzles and games, two things of office supplies, which I don't know what those were. I'm trying to think of what that could have been. DVDs and electronics and baby stuff and then other random things. So my profit for the week on, um, oh, that's this week, on uh, Amazon was $165. You can see that the sales numbers on Inventory Lab and the ones on Amazon are different because Inventory Lab doesn't count them until they're actually shipped out. So they weren't like counted for that week, but Amazon does it where they're counted at the time that they were ordered and then it's put on your report. So it was a profit of one sixty five ninety seven. So one sixty six on Amazon last week and profit of one eighty one on eBay. So we hit over what 400 bucks 316 340 something like that and that's it that's all i had next week's gonna be really good i picked up some good stuff this week i went shopping day before yesterday or yesterday or something like that one of those days 
and picked up some things for Amazon. So I'll do a haul video for you probably tomorrow. And then my sales video for next week should be pretty good because I got some goodies that I sold. So anyway, I hope everybody's having a really good week this week. And um, I'll see you later. Bye. I can't find my end button.